Hi, my name is Latoya White, president of Definitely Something Serious Social and Pleasure Club. I am known as Bossy. I am one of the top hairstylists in New Orleans. Definitely Something Serious Social and Pleasure Club is an organization that I put together eight years ago. It started off with a couple of friends and we always gave back to the community and wanted to make a difference. So we decided to start an organization. My goal is simply to be one of the top social and pleasure clubs in the city. Our main goal is to help needy kids to really get in tune with our community and the people who really need help. Not just putting up money and doing things and not really reaching the people that need to be met. We give all type of events. We give our back to school giveaway, we give a turkey ham giveaway, we give our bike giveaway, we give away prime dresses for less fortunate women. We also feed the homeless on a regular. We just cater to our community. DSS has always carried the reputation of having the best parties, being best dressed, having the best makeup and hair. Today I am meeting up with TD and Bambi um, to discuss some things for our back to school giveaway. Every year we try to supply the community with 200 backpacks. If you know me, you know that I'm always doing here. If you see me, you're bound to see a track glue to the bottom of my slipper. What's up, ma'am? See? What's up, My name is Kizzy. I am DSS Bambi. I am the fashion coordinator of the club. I am known for being late. Function. What you wrapping up for the day? Yes, girl, I'm tired. Uh, I had a busy day, huh? You already know. But I came by to show you what I put together for the back to school outfit. So I decided to go with more of a schoolgirl look. Um, even though I am the fashion coordinator, we all know that Bossy has the last word on that. I'm thinking the white button down shirt, the uh, pleated black skirt purple tie and we can do like the high, the knee high purple socks, mm -hmm. the octopus. As much as I love to be in control of things, I have to sort of take a back seat to Bambi, our fashion consultant. She's getting us together for the back to school giveaway, so I'm going to just have to sit back and trust her judgment. You know, the uh, Catholic school girl shoes uh, and our black blazers. Well, I think that would be nice. So we can look like little girls. Hi, my name is Tee in DSS. I am known as Diva. I have been in DSS for approximately seven years, basically since DSS has been established. I am the business manager, and of course, I've been that since we've been established. Of course, <laughs> I think it'll be cute. I think it'll be real nice. All right, so I'll just put this in a group meeting, take some pictures of it, so that make sure everybody is on. Bambi is coming with this stuff, and I'm not gonna lie, normally she's good with it, but right now I am not feeling it. So they can know they need to get together. Right. When I'm choosing the items for the outfits that I put together, I try to keep everyone's size and style in mind. Because, of course, some people can get away with some things, and some people can. We have the outfit together, we don't have the finances together. Well, the club members are required to give $50 a month, and if they can't afford to pay the $50 a month, we always come up with some type of fundraiser for them to raise the money to pay their dues. Everybody has not turned in their money. Everybody has not turned in the supplies. Club members are required to give $100 in cash or $100 in school supplies. So we need to see or figure out what are we gonna do to, no, y'all need to start enforcing these rules. That's what y'all need to start doing. And if they can't come up with the money or do what they have to do, they have to be the motor. They have to. Some, I'm tired of the same thing going on over and over and over again. And that's basically all it is: excuses. This is like excuse after excuse. We know the ones who excuse. really like need help and really going through stuff. I'm not trying to put nobody out the club because of their financial difficulty. But I'm just saying, if you're not doing your part, doing what you're supposed to do, then what? You know, I made a commitment a long time ago. You know, whether I have kids or not, I still have to pay my dues. That's just something that's necessary and something that has to be done. 
mean we could do something as far as donations, try to collect donations from people that we normally talk to family. Right. But it'd be the same old people, the same people who always fall short. Yeah. You know, we have obligations to the community. You know, these people depending on us to come through. So I don't know. I don't know what to say, you know. We'll just have to pull the money from the club account or the ones, you know, just let them know whoever have extra, they'll have to do extra. So DSS is really my baby. I love the club. I love the group of women that are in the club. I want and wish to continue having the same group of women that's in my organization. But if they don't do what they're supposed to do, the club will go on. It doesn't matter what goes on in my life. I make a way for DSS. I make a way for my club members. If it's staying up late doing hair and makeup, if it's taking time away from my husband and my child, you know, if it's taking money out of my pocket, whatever it takes, you know, I'm gonna do what I have to do to make my club be bigger and better than, than ever. But I don't know what y'all gonna do with these slackers. I'm tired of being a bad person. I'm tired of being the one that only, I I'm the only one that posts the rules. You know, y'all gotta do what y'all gotta do. So basically, they're saying I need to be calling and making phone That's calls. That's saying you just need to handle your business. Well, we gonna do that. We gonna let you finish wrapping up. Get out yeah, of here. Yeah, I just gotta grab my towels. Get on out of here. So y'all got everything. Y'all yeah. came out cute. Yeah, but um, I'm doing yeah. like a entire photo with the whole the shoes. Yeah, she got okay. it. Yeah, yes. I just have to put everything on. Take a picture. Mm -hmm. Take a picture. Yep, take a selfie. Send it to us. <laughs> you know, you already know how that goes. Dress up like the day. Uh -oh. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I do it. So hey. All the time. All right, All right. y'all. We'll talk Thank to you. See you later, T. All right. I have been away for a while from the family due to tax season. I have been very busy preparing taxes for my clients. So I'm going to go to the house and just catch up with them, see how things going, see if they have been working on the music, and actually for me to record new songs of my own. Catch, catch. I was fucking up. Hot. Whoa. So was on the the band. Hey, it's not a big lane. Oh, not good. Two of my brothers that I'm meeting up with today, one is actually DJ Juan Jordan, he is Big Frida's DJ, and the other one we call him OG Link. <laughs> Both of my brothers are artists and producers. What's up? Y'all ain't working on something? Yeah, I already know. Yeah, that was like sauce. sauce. Got some uh, banjo sauce. Sounds good. Let me check that out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 it's a trap life. Yeah. Yeah. It's Time for me to get back up in here. I know where you been at. I ain't you know with taxes. I was busy with the tax season. They ain't know what the children was being, you know, and children in school and everything. Right. But tax season over with. Right. The children out of school. Just dealing with the last minute customers and stuff like that, you know, trying to get finances straight. I'm known for being very strong and independent, so I don't like to involve my family in my financial situation. Uh, I don't want them to stress out about it, to worry themselves when they have their own problems to deal with. But I do appreciate the support that they always give and willing to give. Oh, that we waiting on you. We got that sauce for you. He's drawing and cooking it up for you. All right, I'm about to check it out. I see you got your DSS shirt. I don't know what y'all been doing. How everything been over there? Everything been straight. Uh, right now we about to get ready to feed the homeless. So oh, we got to right. get all that situated. So right. in between the club and dealing with the last minute clients and the kids and. Gotta make time for the music. I got the time to do it right now. Even though I have drifted away from it from time to time, I can't help to be drawn back into it. Now I'm ready to get back into the studio and give 100%. We definitely about to start our grind. Now I got something out for you. All right, man, check it out. 
music is my life so I need to take it a little bit more seriously if I want this to be a career of mine if not I may have to reevaluate my life goals so today I'm going to meet up with Bossy and Missy and I probably am gonna have to play peacemaker. What you been doing today? Nothing, working. Mm -hmm. Girl, I could go to Houston. I ain't got nothing. I used to fight. Joe. I heard y'all. What's up? Well, what's going on? What's up, baby doll? So, Missy has been in the club for a while. Yeah, I've been in the club for like four years. Four years? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, Missy has been in the club for four years and has been absent from everything lately. I just wonder what's going on. Hey, a stranger. You have a seat. What's going on, honey? Mm -hmm. What's going on, honey? Mm -hmm. Hi, I'm Monique, baby doll Missy, and I'm known to be the turn up queen. What you shaking for, you know what's bad? I'm, I'm, I'm good, I mean... When I first joined the club, I joined because I was going through a divorce and of course I participated in everything, did never miss a beat. Since I've been going through a lot of emotional issues, unfortunately I haven't been able to participate in a lot of the functions and giving back to the community and also the socializing part because of my ailment. It actually allows me that I'm always staying inside. Everything's been all right. What you like? Mm, I guess. I'm here. I guess that's a blessing. Well, it's all it could be right now, so. So I have been knowing Missy for over 20 years. So I'm kind of like worried and wondering why she feel like she can't come to me and let me know why she has been absent from the club events. So you know, we have the um, back to school the other way coming up. Are you attending? I mean, I would love to attend. I just paid my dues, so I'm gonna see what I could do. I mean, what, what do y'all need to do? A lot of the club members have really been complaining about Missy. They've been wondering where she's been, what's going on with her, why she's not returning in cold. I'm just worried about her. I mean, this is an annual event, so that's not a question that you should be asking. It's not about what we need you to do, it's what, what are yeah. your obligations to the club. Right. Over the past few months, I have distanced myself from the club a whole lot. It's not by choice, more or less to say it's just more because of my health, me working two jobs, and being a single mom. I hate to feel like I have to put myself on a pity party at the end of the day, but it's life. It's real. I would love to do more for the club and give back more when it comes to the finances, but unfortunately I do have two kids that is dependent on their mom. What am I to do? Not feed my kids or just pay my dues to be a part of a social and pleasure club? Sometimes priorities have to come first, and I think my kids do come first. You know, I know y'all my friends and y'all care, but that's why I like to stay away. Y'all, you know, I don't want nobody to take it personal or anything like that, but this is just the space I'm in. So what you think, you need to take a leave from the club? Or? I just don't want it to seem like it's always something with you. You know, I know you don't want to express to the organization of everything that's going on with you, but when they see you not partaking in certain events, it's like, okay, we gotta do this and we gotta do that, and the loop is not doing anything. I do understand that a lot of the other members are concerned about me, but unfortunately, at this point in time, I just don't want to tell everybody my business because I don't feel like I should have to tell them what's going on with me. I mean, I understand that, but I guess the reason why I came here today was because, you know, I do see a therapist, and one of the recommendations that she made was that she felt I need to socialize. So, that's Well, you I definitely did. need to participate, you know? I do you think you'll be able to get the outfit, you know? Or I mean, mm -hmm. the least I could do is I'm gonna, you know. What do you need help with? What do you need help with? You know, I understand that, you know, Missy may be handling the situation a lot different than others would. So, you know, you have to take that into consideration as well. So I think what I'm gonna do as a sister, I think I need to step up and kind of like, you know, be in her life a little bit more than I am now. For me to provide school supplies for the community, I am the community at this point, you know, for the past well, few years. Well, that's why we say communication is the key. So, you know, if as long as you tell us and we know, you let us know what's going on, not just me. Not just because I'm the president, you just always telling me, you don't tell, 
all the rest of the girls. Well, we want you to attend the back to school weekend. Right. I mean, if they have nothing else, at least, you know, we want you to attend it. Okay. I'll do my best. You sure, huh? We ain't got to look for you with a flashlight. <laughs> I'm really going to try to make the back to school event and do everything that I can do. I just went to the store to check to see if they even had the skirts that I needed and also the shoes. So I'm going to make an effort this time. Well, come on. Let's go get some knee skirts. Me too. You coming? No, I got to go get my What's What Go. <laughs> I just hope she shows up to the back to school event. That way we won't have any tension and we won't have to deal with bossy. Courtney Williams and I am DSS events coordinator and I am most known for being the party girl with the wild side. Today I'm supposed to meet up with my cousin CD to catch up on well signs. So today I'm gonna meet with Peaches. Um, of course she's my cousin as well. I kind of like brought her into the club. I, know, and I just want to catch up, catch up a little thing, see what's going on. You know, she's been through a divorce and all, just to see how the single life's treating her. So what's up, Slim? Girl, nothing. Trying to stay healthy. About it. Well, you ain't been to the doctor lately. Huh? Uh, recently, yeah, I have, but not no overnight visits. Just you know. Normal stuff. I also have sickle cell anemia, which is a very, very painful disease. I deal with it on a daily basis. One of the medicines that they have me on, they said that that's the cause behind the nosebleeds. But when I went in the last time, I had a real bad nosebleed. My doctor was concerned because it wouldn't stop. Mm -hmm. So he had me go do a CT scan. And the CT scan, it showed like a small, not like a small, possibly a blood clot in the back of my brain. So he had me come in and do an MRI to confirm that it wasn't. But I'm still waiting on the results from that. So that got me a little scared. But other than that, I've been good. That's good. I mean, uh, we're not claiming it, so. Yeah, I'm not about to claim it either. Yeah, we ain't claiming it. That's just the medicine. Yeah. You know, I would like to be there more for her, like when she goes into the hospital and stuff like that. But throughout our lives, you know, from a baby, she's done it so often and she's been in the hospital like so often. You know, it's kind of hard. That's what I said, but I get nosebleeds at least twice a day now. Like it's like, what? And I haven't even taken the medicine in like two weeks, so. That's, the, that's another thing. And he said that it could be the possibility that I take an aspirin because the aspirin helps my blood flow. So that could be making the door too. But it's nobody knows 100% why my nose is bleeding. So just doing a whole bunch of tests right now. But other than that, just trying to stay healthy. Screw it. Cuff. Screw it. Yes. So has the single life been treating you? That's it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. I've been divorced about almost two years now. We were separated for almost three years and I'm actually doing well. The dating aspect of it, I'm not doing so well. The type of guys I attract is, is just crazy. Like they either all have a lot going on or none of them have like no dreams, no goals, no nothing and I'm not willing to settle. <laughs> yeah, I got stories for days on the single life, baby. Um, <laughs> I'm dating a couple of guys. No, oh, okay. Don't go by each other. No. Oh. <laughs> Courtney has always been a little free spirited. You know, she's very open minded and she's very, very explorative. Hope they don't. But, I mean, hey, why one not? Guy, one guy, he kind of he kind of got my interest. Um, I think I think that's who I'm trying to like basically deal with, but. Actually, I found a really good guy. Um, I used to work with him, actually. He has two beautiful kids, which I absolutely love and adore. Um, he's someone that I can actually like see myself settling down with. We're kind of in that in-between stage right now where we we trying to figure this out, but we're not really rushing it. So, yeah. But... Um, I have like a more con more of a connection with one of the guys than I do the other ones. Like I really don't give the other ones the time of day because I spend more time with one guy than I do with the rest of them. Like they'll be asking me to go out, I blow them off because I just won't be under him. Well, hopefully she's found someone that you know that understands her health conditions and is gonna be there for her, and actually is gonna love her for her and not for what she can do for them. 
But you know this back to school giveaway is coming up. So are you ready? Like you got all your stuff together in LA? Yeah, I got everything. I got the skirt, I got the shirt, I got everything. But I got some money in the toilet for the um for the extra supplies. But as far as like actually being able to make it to the giveaway, mm -hmm. I don't think that's gonna happen because it's the same day as my godson's birthday party. So and it's his actual oh, birthday that that's day. Right. Jo uh, Jalen. Jalen, yeah, yeah, yeah it's Jalen's birthday. <laughs> I'm excited to do the back to school drive this year with this. This is our seventh annual back to school giveaway and the looks on those kids' faces is priceless because some of them don't have the means to get character book sex and get school supplies and we're not just giving out just a notebook and a pen. We're giving out like an uh, actual school supply list. So, I mean, it always brings a tear to my eye to see how excited those kids are on just getting something that they know that they, put, they couldn't possibly get. And I'm kind of on a fence because I also have plans on that day, but I'm going to try to do what I can do to make it out there because I know how important it is to the assessment and also to those kids that they see faces behind giving, behind giving back to the community. And um, I mean, I doubt Kel's going to make it too because that's her baby, so I right. doubt she's going to make it. But I'm going to make sure I tell Toya, make sure I you know, do everything I got to do with yeah, just make sure you tell her, let her know, you know, what's going on or yeah, whatever. Yeah, I'll make sure I tell her, um, but... I mean, I mean, it's gonna be hot, oh my oh, god. Oh, I know it's gonna be hot. That's why I was trying to figure out with them, them shirts and them blazers Man, and them skirts. and then, like, Ooh. yeah, that's that's the blazer black, the skirt black. We wearing high socks. So, yeah, like, we gonna be burning up. I mean, it's, a, for, it's, hot, look, it's for a good cause. It, it's for the kids, it's to, you know. But, uh, yeah, we gonna be hot. This is the time of the year, like when I go into like depression because I lost a baby like four years ago and it was due around its time. So like this is hard for me because I made it to 11 weeks and six days and her heartbeat, I, heard, I saw everything and then it's like I had a sickle cell crisis, next day baby gone and it happened just like that and it's, it's hard because everybody in my circle has kids and I don't have any kids. So it's hard to go to like school functions and it's it's hard. Like it's not nothing I'm just saying if like it's really hard for me to deal with. So what's the plans after the back of school giveaway? What y'all getting into that night? Cause you know y'all normally go out after. You know what? I don't know. We probably uh, we probably gonna go to a pool party just to support, you know, the people who, has who a is pool going. party. Um uh Caramel Curves. Oh. Caramel Curves have a pool party. Oh, okay. And we gonna probably go there. Just you know, support that them or whatever. That should be nice. It's gonna be nice. Like they, the I mean, they give, show up yeah. and show out. That you know, that we 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 always kind of like you know always did kind of like do stuff with the curves, stuff like that. Like you know, curves real real. They they real cool. Dog, it is so hot out here. Like it's the iron hot. Yeah, yeah. it's really pretty out here. Though. It's pretty. It's but it's, it's hot. hot. I think I'm about to go give me a drink. That's what about you? What kind of drinks? I'm just. It's saying. happy hour somewhere. Let's go. Uh, yeah, I think so. <laughs> I'm going to be happy. It's definitely this happy hour. hour. You got to use me a little drink, baby. Ooh, I'm going to be happy this hour. <laughs> Thank you. Again. So today I'm going to meet up with my daughter, well my oldest daughter, Rayan, um, at cheer practice just to see where her head is right now because it's college time and her main priority right now is cheer. So I need to kind of like get her together with that. So I'm going to drop in on her and see what's going on today. So y'all finish our game? Yep. Y'all did a good little job. Thank you very much. Thanks to the captain. Oh jeez. So you're the captain of the cheerleading squad. I hope that is um, is important. You know, the, as much as you take that important, you take you're taking your college applications and uh, I'm just curious. I mean, I you know I don't have a problem with cheer, but I need you to get as serious into like these applications and stuff like that. Like, 
I know you want to go to college and I already know where your mind is, but I do need you like on a page to where cheer comes after and not before. You know, it's like for some reason, ever since she's made 17, she thinks that what mom says is not how it's supposed to be. She wants it to be her way, but that's not how it goes this way. Okay, I'm, I just need you to be aware of it because it seems like your mind is, everything is cheer, cheer, cheer. And it's like college is not on a back burner, but it's like second. And I want it to be like plus one, like over first. I'm just trying to make sure everything with the team is straight. I mean, college is my main priority, but I'm just trying to make sure like we're good for everything that's coming up. See, this is the problem. Her main priority is cheer. My main priority is college. I just need her to get on the right track. Right now, she's driving me bananas. I'm gonna have my applications. Okay, I just, I like I said, I just need to make sure that you have all that in order. Understand, you're the captain, and you need to make sure everything's in order for the chili squad and all. But you know, once you leave here, it's college. I'm giving her an opportunity. If she does not get her act together, doesn't get her mind straight, I'm gonna pull over from cheer. Cause it's getting to be out of hand now. You have a little, you know, one track mind, so. Yeah, I feel like now you're trying to come to me. Nah, I feel like now you're trying to come to me. You know I love you. <laughs> you kiss your mom? No. Things that this young lady has a strong personality, of course she's like her mom. I knew this was gonna happen. I knew she was gonna react like this, but I can handle it. So we have been up all morning, packing backpacks, putting them on the truck, doing all type of things to get ready for this back to school yellow week. And some of the members there are sending all of these crazy text messages with all of these excuses. And I'm just wondering where everyone is. My goal is simply to be one of the top social and pleasure clubs in the city. Um, our main goal is to help needy kids to really get in tune with our community and the people who really need help. Not just putting up money and doing things and not really reaching the people that needs to be met. The main goals for a social club is basically to get more involved in the community. You socialize, of course, but the main objective of a social club is to give back to the community and basically that's what DSS is about. We give back to the community. So I'm here at the event, I'm looking around, and there's no one here. Like, what is going on? So I step to the side, I call Monique to see where she is, because at this moment, I'm freaking out. Hello. Yeah, where you at? Unfortunately, I was not able to make the event. My kids were starting school the next day. I didn't have any money to buy them tennis shoes, so I had to wait on a family member to bring me the money to buy the tennis shoes. And unfortunately, it was around the same time of the event and the fact that I had to be at this event. I didn't even have the money to even dress out. I did give my school supplies. And Why you didn't come to the giveaway? I got a skirt of new shoes and I couldn't find them. You did tell you say if you didn't have the attire, you still, she still wanted everybody to come out. Regardless of what's going on, we're going to deliver and we're going to make sure the community gets exactly what we promised. I did donate the school supplies for the back to school giveaway and I do understand that I still had a responsibility to be there, but I really felt awkward not being able to dress out and I didn't want to be a part of 
this group not dressing out and also the fact that I had to take care of my kids. I know everybody brought they most everybody brought their supplies, but we needed like everybody out here, like opposed to I mean we needed the stuff of course, but we needed like everybody out here. You already know how she been lately on you, like you should have came. I mean I see where Monique is coming from, but being in the club, you have consequences. You have fines that you have to pay. And that's just something she's gonna have to deal with. I was looking at it like a participation, like dressing out, but I know right. where you're coming from, like setting up, just being there. Right, you know, showing like, your, you know, showing that you, you did come out to help. Support. Exactly. So as we were talking, I really felt where she was coming from, regardless of the fact if I had the clothes to participate or not, because I am a part of a sisterhood and they do actually rather my participation, whether it was to fill the backpacks or unload a truck the least I could have done was participate and try to help out as best as possible at that moment I didn't look at it that way and now I do understand that participation is key whether I can dress out whether I can support and give the school supplies or whatever just me being there and participating is all that counts all right sis just call me when you um call me later Okay, thank you for calling. You're welcome, boo. All right. All right. Oh, gosh. I don't want to tell Toya. I really don't want to bring all this bad news. But I have to tell her anyway. But I'm not going to go ahead and bring all the bad vibes to the event. So I'm going to have to pull her to the side later or another day and have this conversation with her. I am so happy and pleased that the back to school giveaway was such a huge success. The kids were very, very grateful. The parents, they enjoyed everything, the food, the music, the, you know, just everything that we put, like all of our hard work did not go in vain. Like everything was simply beautiful. It's moments like this that makes everything well worth it. Like the kids were so, so happy and pleased with their backpacks. And it makes me feel very appreciated that my club is really making a difference. I am so happy and pleased that the Back to School giveaway was such a huge success. The kids were very, very grateful. The parents, they enjoyed everything, the food, the music, the, you know, just everything that we put. Like all of our hard work did not go in vain. Like everything was simply beautiful. It's moments like this that makes everything well worth it. Like the kids were so, so happy and pleased with their backpacks. And it makes me feel very appreciated that my club is really making a difference. You know, they gotta realize, it's not all about, you know, them and their egos. It's about the community and us making sure that we do what we need to do in the community. So maybe it's that time to step down. I think it was too late. I was in the children. Well, I'm going with, um, I'm going to get over here. So Courtney is at, uh, Kate's Bates Park. Because I've been there for a while. Monique, I called her. She said that she... But this is how I was at Kate's Bates Park. Oh, yeah. It didn't show up for nothing. So however y'all came with that, y'all didn't have that. She didn't show up to help. She didn't, she didn't show up to pack no bag. She could have given an hour of the time. Everybody got something to do. Well, I knew this was going to be her reaction. This is what I dreaded. You know what I'm saying? So however y'all got to they got to get fine. Because it is my fault. I'm in the place. 
I try to sympathize with my DSS sisters, but I will not tolerate the excuses. So, and when Monique got cold called and I asked her, well, what was she? She said she was at home. I said, well, why you didn't come? She said, I don't have the stuff. I said, well, it don't matter if you didn't have the stuff or not, you still should have From her expression, I knew Toya was going to be upset. Means that Missy has just done so much. She's just to a point where she's fed up. This is such a disappointment. Missy really needs to decide what she wants to do when it's pertaining to her membership in our organization. It is just always an excuse. You stay in the meeting, you start a call and back, you want to so everybody sympathizes. Like I got so many phone calls from other members saying how they were sympathetic to her situation, just to what she had going on. So that's why you can be the business manager. Fines are definitely going to be handed out. So here I go. I have to be the bad guy. I have to give them their fines. Oh well, somebody has to do it. Yeah, I really got to because I'm tired of being. Every time I say something, I'm being hard on the girls or whatever. Yeah, I really got to do Everyone in the club thinks I'm so bossy. But what they don't understand is I'm running an organization. And I really need for my officers to step up and do what they need to do because I'm tired of being the mean guy or whatever you want to call it. Um, I just need everyone to play their position. Missy and Peachy is going to have to pay their fine. It's either show up or pay up. You pick and choose. So girl, why well, I just received a call from one of the ministers? Something about some negativity or something negative pertaining to the club and myself. If you're not strong enough to be part of this organization, maybe this is not the organization for you. We go and think. We look great every time we step out in the other clubs, they just can't take it. You know, but I know when they're with us, you know, as a whole, we're supposed to be like ladies. We're supposed to represent one another as a whole, like confident, beautiful young women. So that seventy five hundred dollars will be raised. That money will go towards the mother's people. Or sometimes when they say, "Well, let's just throw another party," it'd be more to do hair, makeup, outfits, venues, this and other. And when we come back to me, and I'd be like, "We could have just all oh, just cut the hair and makeup. Everybody could have put in a hundred dollars, and that would have been the money right there." Just know that. We may not be sisters by blood, but this is a sisterhood, and blood can bring us any closer. How's your love life going? What love life? Don't so worry, how we gonna try how to do? It was fun, but it's kind of hard. I think I you got it, girl. Like, sipping, sipping, sipping. I didn't want to get too drunk when I perform. I start slurring my words. I will picture this thing. Yeah, that on. Let it be so, known. Let me say We gonna pop some bottles. We gonna take these shots. We gonna turn. Put your girl pick on the If I don't do it, you know, I'm getting done. Correct. That's why you got a vice president and everybody else. You got to step up. I'm a phone call away, baby. Mars boy. Okay. My phone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 So, I'm thinking about opening up a sex store. And also, you know, being a part of this, since we were a big on female empowerment, so I don't want to just do a downstairs with just sex toys. I also want to have an upstairs, like every now and then have a person come in and teach us the proper way to use a condom or proper birth control methods or stuff like that. Just so they can know that someone is here to help them with that kind of stuff. Always know whenever, you know, you're going through something, you know, if you just need an ear or whatever the case may be, call me. I'm always available. My line is always open. To try to be a great mom and be supportive of my kids and not show them that side of me. I try my best to never let them see me cry and never let them see me, you know, struggle or anything. 
but it's hard. I am a single mother of four, not by choice, due to some tragic situations, dealing with the death of my two fiancés. I don't wish that on my enemy, but it's something that I just have to deal with. I have no choice but to be there for my kids and stay strong for all of us. I'm looking for some new inventory for stuff to sell and I just, I feel like crap. Like everything hurts. Um, my knees are hurting, my back is hurting. And, you know, I started from a cold, but I still gotta look for this stuff on top of. Still having a little work today. I'm just, I'm just drained and I'm just tired. Hey, gotta get done. I don't really know what's going on with the girls because I have been doing everything on my own. And you can't take time out your day to help the club and better the club. Don't knock it when we come out with some because you are in a group. You're not gonna like everything. It's like I already knew the conversation that Tony and I had. So it's like for you to up and be like, well, Tony said blah, blah, blah. And keep in mind, if you do not participate in these fundraising events, whatever money that will be raised, you will not benefit from it. Like, okay, look, I'm not about to keep doing all this with you with, with that. You know, just know the community depends on us. We, you know, we have to be united because they depend on us. Basically, he got a girl pregnant and didn't do a lot about it. And, you know. and then you go out on after that. And you just, you guys get together. I mean, it takes a strong person to be the <laughs> but he living so we gonna let him live. We ain't gonna, we ain't gonna do too much kids doing all right. As emotional support, no kind of support. It's like I'm just that one parent. That's what we're here for. We're here for each other. That's what the sisterhood is all about. Anything is related to me, any message is related to me, just tell me exactly how it went down. So, I'm Miss Alaska. Really? Who? Yeah, as long as you're happy. Supposed to be linking up, you know. See, I guess we're gonna see where it go from now. And we ask that you just um, give us a good and great closeness as a good sisterhood where we can take it out and show the public that black females can and they will and they can stand. And we ask that you come into our lives, our families, and touch each and every one of us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Amen.